Well, millions of Americans are on alert for severe weather today as a powerful storm system sweeps across the U.S. Yeah, the same system that brought snow to Southern California is now headed to the east. And the storms in the Los Angeles area, by the way, over the weekend, they brought stunning, stunning for L.A. snow and record rains and flooding. Parts of the state are under blizzard warnings again today. And as that severe weather swept across the plains overnight, it included a fierce dust storm in Texas and a record-breaking tornado outbreak in Oklahoma that has caused major damage and left tens of, left tens of thousands without power. We have team coverage with CBS News' Jonathan Bigliotti in Phelan, California, which is about 30 miles north of San Bernardino. But first, let's go to Omar Villafranca in Norman, Oklahoma, with the latest on those tornadoes. Omar, people in Norman woke up to a lot of damage and destruction this morning if they got to sleep. Uh, how bad was that? Well, the, the key word, if they went to sleep, the storm was rolling through around 9 at 10 o'clock last night, so anybody who was getting ready woke up, and this is what they were seeing in the dark, but now we're seeing it in the light. This gives you an idea of how powerful this storm was. This Jeep just picked up and tossed on top of this Nissan over here. You can see holes in the roof of this house, but let me show you their next door neighbor. They don't have a roof anymore. It is gone. This storm was absolutely powerful. We made it kind of interesting too, uh, Tony and Lilia, was that we think this is a tornado. The National Weather Service will determine that. But there were winds in front of the storm that were clocking 90 miles an hour in front of the storm. So we're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, down fences and trees and whatnot and power being out. A weird combination of, of weather here. Wow. And Omar, are there more tornado warnings uh, on uh, 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 coming up today in Oklahoma? Well, it, it, no, that's the good news. And what's weird on weather like this, I've covered enough of these, right after a storm blows through, it is absolutely beautiful here today. Thank God the weather's co cooperating for these folks because it's gonna be a lot of cleanup. As you mentioned, that storm is gonna be headed towards the Northeast, towards the Michigan and Illinois area as well. Um, so it'll give them a little bit of a reprieve, few days to try to clean some of this up. Um, now we'd like to pivot over to California to talk to Jonathan Vigliotti. Uh, Vig's Southern California really got hit with a mess this weekend, considering you know snow is such a rare event uh, in, in those areas. How did people cope? It's just so unusual to see you surrounded by so much snow outside of, I don't know, Big Bear. <laughs> It, it is very much so, Lilia. It, depending on where you are, you either got really hard hit by a lot of rain or a lot of snow, like here in Feeling, California. It's about an hour and a half drive from Los Angeles. This is what's known as a high desert community. This area typically gets about an inch of snowfall over the course of the winter season. In the last four days, it got more than eight inches of snow. We're in front of a local high school. The school district here has been closed down today as plows are out securing the roads. A lot of black ice. It's truly treacherous. And the higher elevations in the mountain towns, they got seven feet of snow, in some cases even more. A rare blizzard warning was issued over the weekend for the first time in more than 30 years. The grapevine, a major artery that links Southern California to Northern California, it gets snow, but it was closed down because of how much snow it did get for two days. Uh, in L.A., snow is also seen there. I woke up on Saturday morning along with a lot of other people looking at the Hollywood sign with a dusting of snow, but primarily it was a rain event there two inches of snowfall in downtown LA which uh, which competed and actually beat the record from 2008 there was a lot of wind 75 miles per hour that brought down a lot of trees on top of power lines on Friday more than a hundred thousand people without power here we are three days later 40,000 people still without power at night the lows are in the 40s so you can imagine still very cold as another system is sweeping through and Jonathan I know these are complicated calculations but I'm curious about what how cold is there right now because you went with the gloves but she got that beautiful head of hair <laughs> uncovered uh, what does that tell us about the state of the weather uh, today and also across the west coast Maybe it tells you more about my state of lack of preparation. I forgot my hat. Okay. <laughs> so, I, so I wish I had that hat. You look great. Um, it, it, I mean, it's 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's 36 <laughs> degrees here right now. We just checked wind chill. It's in the 20s. So oh my God. it is cold. It's it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty brutal. I mean, you guys know L.A. This obviously is not L.A., but I think it's yeah. important to focus on L.A. just for a second because there are so many people without power. They're not used to this kind of cold weather, the rain without having proper heating. Space heaters are now a critical tool, officials warning people to make sure to monitor mm -hmm. those space heaters. But here in areas that do get some snow and in areas that have gotten a lot of snow, we're hearing of people who can't even get out of their house wow. because of feet of snow and ice that's blocking them. And this is at another uh, system moves in. It's not going to be as bad as the weekend system. Up north, though, another blizzard warning is in effect. And in the Lake Tahoe area, they're expecting many more feet of snow. Avalanche warnings are in effect there. Probably wise for people to bring a hat with them wherever you are in California <laughs> right. for the next few days. Well, Jonathan Vigliotti and Omar Villafranca, thank you both so much.